Hi again. I'm a little more dried off this time. We are about halfway now to Arches National Park and the blizzard, at least in this area of the state, has passed. Uh, it was pretty rough there coming out of Salt Lake City. Uh, there was heavy, heavy snow, heavy sleet, and the traffic was insane. But now that we're kind of out in the country, there's still actually a surprisingly high amount of traffic, but it's a lot, a lot nicer anyway. The radio signal isn't the best out here, but I imagine it's because we're just kind of in the mountains. We went through some higher mountains about maybe half hour back, and I meant to pull over, take some pictures, but the storm and the traffic was so bad I thought everyone would just probably appreciate it if I just got here safely. So about an hour and a half, maybe two hours left to drive. Uh, it's a nice drive. I'm sure it'd be really nice in the summer or the fall, uh, not so much in the winter. Anyway. By the time we get to the uh, Arches National Park, the interpretive center is going to be closed. But we can still probably wander around the park a bit, which will be great. Probably give them a call after this just to make sure that's all right. Because we don't want to trespass any more today than we already have. It is 5.15 p.m. and I just arrived at Arches National Park. Although the visitor center was closed when I called them, apparently they're open to like walk in and pay. It's $30 a vehicle to get in. Um, that is $30 USD, so that's about 50 Canadian. So a little bit pricey, but then again, it's a bucket list destination and all the money goes towards the park. So it's not like it's a big deal, right? Uh, so I'm gonna go into the very much looking kind of like um, the command center from Power Rangers. The building looks like that. Go in there, figure out how I'm going to pay for this, and finally start our journey into Arches National Park. It's so strange because in Salt Lake City, it was like blizzarding. And then about halfway through near Price, it was raining. And now it's like, like a desert. Like it's like uh, red stone, red rocks, cacti completely different than Salt Lake City. So it's night and day today. It's unfortunate that I had to get so soaking wet about four hours ago. But we're here. We'll enjoy what we can. I'll see you guys soon. Welcome back. I went to the visitor center to go pay for a ticket and they're closed like I thought they would be. And I met a gentleman filling up his water bottle from France. He told me something very strange. We'll see if it's true or not. He said that the park's open 24 hours a day. But the visitor center is only open from about 8 till 4. So you can drive into the park whenever you want. And then pay later if they're closed. That seems wrong. <laughs> it seems like people would take advantage of that all the time. So I'm going to go see if I can get in the park without paying. Uh, of course, I will pay tomorrow but we'll see if we can get in the park without paying tonight it'd be pretty cool if we could because i don't want to drive back again tomorrow <laughs> i'll let you guys know what happens welcome to arches national park in utah
so beautiful. And up here, I heard someone saying that this supposedly is a door for the aliens to go through so they can go to the underground houses. I think that's crazy, but crazier things have happened, right? So this is the first stop on about four or five places we're gonna see on this on this trip to, through arches. I don't think I have time to take the path because of the, of the sun going down, but I would love to do it. Next time, maybe. This is Balanced Rock. One of the sites that I plan to visit in the short hour and a half or however much daylight left I have in this park. The story says that there used to be another one, another smaller balanced rock to the right of it. You can kind of see what's left of it, but it collapsed uh, in the uh, Sorry, I thought I saw a lizard. <laughs> it collapsed in uh, 1975. Is that a lizard? No, it's just a weird thing. There's a really strange, a lot of like plant life that I don't recognize here. It's so like, um, like Mars, you know? It's crazy, I love it so much. Arches National Park. Been here for about an hour, maybe hour and a half, trying to find the delicate arch. And I found it. But it's so dark out here. No one can see it. I wasn't smart. I didn't bring water. I didn't bring food. Brought a flashlight on my phone. It's gonna be a long walk back in the dark. I think I'm gonna spend the night at a nearby town and come back tomorrow. I actually take back something I said earlier. Coming up to the arch is, is really hard, but going down is quite nice. <laughs> the, uh, the route is better than I thought. I think I just lost the path and went like way around. Shouldn't just look at Google Maps and followed it there, but I thought I could do it oh, without consulting Google. And you know, that's how one gets lost in National Park. Oh, I have to climb up on that one. Ugh. Way out in the distance, I see a light. Oh, it's kind of like a flashlight. I wonder if it's a park ranger. You notice my car is still sitting there. It's like some idiot went out to the arch in the dark. Let's see. I don't see it anymore, but... And I'm on the right path. I can see the path signs, which weren't visible before. I think I'm about a fifth of the way back. Oh. At first, oh geez, I thought it was like a building. And then I thought, no, I can't do it. It's just a star you're looking at. But no, I think it's actually a person, which would be wonderful. Maybe they have water or a cheeseburger. Why are they going to yell at me? What are you doing in the park so late at night? I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a person. Cool. Nice. So I don't see that light anymore. Haven't for about the past 10 minutes. I started to think it was a building. It's unfortunate. 
I thought I heard somebody or something, so I called out. Then you get a reply, so I called out again, louder. And instead of a reply, I heard a bunch of wolves howling. So, didn't know they were in the park. Um, oops. But we're on the trail, and we're about halfway there, so. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Okay. So we're kind of back on level ground now for a bit, which is nice after all those ups and downs around the arch. Thinking I will go down to Green River or the other one. Let's see if McDonald's. Let's get a whole bunch of food. <laughs> and one of those big, large drinks. It's nice now because it's not up and down. Although my back hurts. <laughs> oh. What a bad idea. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm just gonna drive up to it. I don't care. <laughs> no wolves yet. That's good. No people though, that's not so good, but it is what it is. I'm walking down this path right now. I remember going up it. There was this uh, family, these two kids, I've looked them. And they were all laughing and chatting. And I think, oh, they don't seem to be very tired. I must almost be there. If only I'd known, right? I would have turned right back around, got in my car, and drove all the way to the overlook and just took that black picture instead. I have no idea how those kids could have done that, done this walk. No idea. I know I'm not like the most in shape person, but God, that was awful, awful. We have maybe, 10 minutes left. Because here's the arrow to the petroglyphs, which I skipped over earlier because I thought, oh, I'm in a rush to get to the arch before it gets dark. So I know we're almost there. Thank God. No wolves either, or many people, which is weird. I'm sure I saw a person. I'm walking a bit faster now because we just passed this historic house that used to be the owner of the property and not that far away from it it's a parking lot and I can see my light reflecting off all the signs in the parking lot I'm almost wondering if the light I saw before maybe headlights I don't know but I think we made it finally There's a funny sign on the way in to the route, the trail. It says, stay on the path. <laughs> Audrey, I wonder why. <laughs> Where's my car? Look at this. Nothing better to see than your own car. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So we're walking to the view, the viewing area of Delicate Arch. This is a little bit up the road from where I was last night. I don't know how far this pathway is. I'm hoping it's not a mile and a half. We'll find out soon though. But it's such a nice day today. Way nicer than last night and so much easier to see. And this path actually has a guardrails on it, or fencing, so you don't wander off by accident and get lost and almost die to wolves. But that happens to everybody, right? 
How far is it? It's an easy five minute walk. Sounds great. For comparison, yesterday we were here. We walked all the way up to here and then got lost somewhere around here. Today we're here. We're walking here, then we're gonna walk up to here and then we're not coming back this arch ever again. So here's the sign for the delicate arch. And there it is. Um, so I think we're gonna do the other path, see if we can get a little bit closer. What's really sick though, and you can't really see this on my camera, is all the people that are over by that arch. How did they do it? Probably didn't get lost. That's sick. That's a horrible hike. <laughs> we'll see if we can't take the other one and maybe uh, get a little bit closer. Because I really want to see it up close. Because you really can't see it from here. So you reach the top of the trail. And then this uh, gentleman told me if I walked a bit more over to the right, I could see the arch kind of open up. Still disappointed about how close we are to the arch. But, uh... I think I've had enough of this arch by now. There's a lot of the places I want to go to in this park and this arch has caused me enough grief as it is. And to see all those people just casually walking around it. Oh, I'm just tired of looking at this arch. <laughs> it's a nice arch. It's a nice delicate arch, but I'm done with it. So the hike up here, it, was, it wasn't as bad as the yesterday's hike, but as you can tell, I'm a little out of breath. I'd prefer if I didn't have to hike any more today, <laughs> but I have a feeling that's not going to happen. So, that's, that's two down for the day, four or five left to go.